Getting over a breakup or a broken heart. Hi, my name is Slavika Bogdanov. I'm an international public speaker, success coach, and also a best-selling author. Uh, so what to do when you just experienced a breakup, somebody left your life or you left someone and now you feel terrible, your heart is broken, feel it's the end of the world, and you don't seem to be able to do anything else. It's very difficult uh, of a situation and we've all been there. I know I have more than once. And especially when we come to uh, Christmas or to some uh, celebrations where you really want to be with that loved one and you feel like it would be so nice to have a partner in life. And instead, well, you only look at the void. So what to do to pick yourself up <clears throat> and get back on your feet as soon as possible because eventually you will get back on your feet so it's just a matter of getting there quicker faster so you feel better so the first thing to remember and that's really important is that if that person wasn't meant for you and if you couldn't get along for one reason or another well a better person will be there for you so if it's not that one it will be another one and if you think of the fact that, hmm, there's another person waiting for me and waiting for me to feel better in my life and to feel better about myself and to heal, I will definitely heal faster so I can find that person, that person can find me faster. So keep that in mind that it, if this wasn't the person, the next person has more chances of being the one. Think of past relationship, if you had any, and where you absolutely wanted that person to be in your life, and then months, years passed, perhaps, and you look back and you think, oh, thank God I didn't end up with that individual. I would have hated my life. I would have never achieved what I wanted in life if I stuck with that individual, and I, I would hate that person. So it might be the same thing that happens with this one, even if now you feel broken up. So please keep that in mind that the next person might be the one. So the faster you heal, the more chances you'll have to get to that next person. Second thing is to um, actually take the time to heal. So don't jump into another relationship. Don't get into a rebound to forget about the past relationship. What can happen if you do so is you're going to bring the same problems into the new one and what's going to happen then is that that new relationship will suffer uh, and you might experience the same problems or just attract the same kind of relationship until you heal the previous one. And there's a whole path of healing before jumping into a new relationship. So what happens if tomorrow somebody comes knocking on your door and you feel, oh my God, this might be the one. Let them know that you just came out of the breakup and that you need time to heal. If they respect you, they will allow that time and they actually might feel that you're even more worthy of their love or of their feelings towards you just because you care about yourself enough to put a stop and ask for more time. They might even love you more because of it. So take care of yourself. Take the time to heal. It's like going through um, grieving. You need that grieving period. You need that healing period. So how to heal faster. Third uh, point is that you need to really focus on yourself. So think of the little child inside of you who's crying now and try to make that child super happy. So try to do things that are playful and that are nice and that are gentle, that are caring, that are loving for yourself. Okay, take that hot bath, um, buy some ice cream without going crazy over it, or go to the movies, go to a nice dinner, a nice restaurant in a, in a romantic setting where you're not in a restaurant where you used to go with your ex, but just a nice place where you feel you will be pampered. Go to a spa, get a facial, get a new haircut, do something that will make you feel better about yourself. That's the third thing. 
Fourth thing, well, surround yourself with people who love you. So go and meet your friends. Don't stay isolated in your room crying. Uh, go and see different people. Go and visit your parents or relatives. Somebody that's going to have a nice shoulder to just lay, on, lay your head on and feel better. Get active also. You might want to do some exercise. Even if you don't feel like exercising or moving your body right now, the fact of moving your body in exercise will create endorphins and endorphins are the happy hormone. It's a hormone that your brain produces that feel, make you feel happier. So just the fact of moving around will help you get over the depressed boat you're in. Try to not drink at all alcohol because the more you drink alcohol, the more depressed you get. Alcohol is a depressive. So you think you're getting the high, but the high is from the sugar. But when the sugar drops, you get the depression from alcohol. So don't, don't drink. Try not to drink alcohol, but instead try to eat good food that will nourish your body and make you feel better from the inside out. Rest also. Don't go all night thinking about what happened and going over and over what went wrong, but try to get as much sleep as you can so that your body, your inner self can heal. And the more, the faster you heal, well, the faster you'll be able to rejoice in life again. And lastly, don't uh, turn the knife into your own wound. Sometimes we have a breakup and instead of letting it go, instead of grieving, we go back into it and we continue and repeat the same off offense to ourselves again and again and again and just hurt ourselves more and more and more. So when you feel like you want to create more pain in your life by reproducing the memory of the breakup, stop yourself and say that memory is gone, it's over, it's finished. Let me think of something in the future now. What do I want in the future? What do I want for myself? What could make me feel good right now or tomorrow? Uh, plan maybe a short trip, a day trip. So instead of revisiting the hurt, the pain, try to focus on the future and find things that are really going to be helpful for you and pamper yourself and care for yourself and love yourself. The more you love yourself, the more other people will love you. And if that person you broke up with come back, comes back, give it still time. Don't jump back into that old relationship either. Give yourself time to heal and think about what went wrong and what was good. And if you want to revisit that relationship or if you prefer to move on. So I hope this helps. Please share this video if it did. Uh, put a like underneath so that more people can benefit from this information. And also, please come on attractitude.us where you'll find a lot of different information on having a better life. So please share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.